Friends do 
that was anchored in the Baltimore Harbor just outside Fort McHenry. Now, they were about to be released when it was discovered that the two men had overheard secret battle plans for an upcoming attack. So, in order to maintain secrecy, it was decided that they would have to remain aboard the ship for the duration of that fight. Well, the battle began, and it raged on into the night. From their vantage point, the two Americans could do nothing but watch. They could see Fort McHenry in the distance, and when a bomb would burst over the fort, they would catch a glimpse of the American flag. You see, they knew that as long as that flag remained flying, the American dream was still alive. Well, the battle ended in the early morning hours, and because of the darkness, the outcome was uncertain. Uncertain until the next morning when the sun rose, revealing the stars and stripes still flying proudly. Well, one of the men, the young lawyer, was so moved by all he had seen 
He pulled out an old envelope, and on the back he wrote some words in the form of a poem. Words that are very familiar to us today. For that young lawyer's name was Francis Scott Key. And the words he penned so long ago we still proudly call our national anthem. <laughs> So proud. 